welcome to Lego Craft. Today I'm going to show you how to program a game. So in this game, what we're going to do is program a spaceship to follow your cursor. Then it also um, should it also should um, collide with comets, and you have to permit that so you have to move your cursor around so comics must be spawning around and then they will try to join you but we're not going to allow that so what we're going to do first is make a blank project so i'm going to delete this actor so first we need some actors so for the first actor, we need a spaceship. So, I found a spaceship right here. Now I'm going to delete the code. Now we need other customs. So what we're going to do is pick your favorite costume and delete the rest. So, and you can rename it too. So I can I will name it. I'm gonna name it Spaceship. Um, it sometimes doesn't work, but now we need another thing. When it collides with the comet, we want it to explode. So what we're gonna do else is add costume. Then we're gonna go and search for an explosion. So yeah. Oh, there is this explosion. Um, there. I have my explosion, right? I go back to this and I'll leave it right there. So first, let's program this. Uh, we're going to put it in on start. So what we wanted to do is follow your cursor. So, we're going to put... Um, we're going to put a repeat until lock. Repeat, we want it to repeat until it collides with and comment. But, we need a comment first. So, let's set an actor. So, I'm going to go to media library. And if there's going to be any comments... I'm going to search for them. Uh, so I'm going to go and go to sci-fi where all these are. And now I'm also going to search for a comet. Where in the heck is this comet? If you don't want a comet, you can put other stuff too. Plus, the comets you want this spaceship is tiny compared to the comet. So we can lower the size by clicking here and put in maybe 25. I'm thinking 25. Okay. Now let's program this back. So, repeat until false. We don't have anything. So we're going to go to sensing. And we're going to touch and clone of mouse pointer. Um, so we're not going to put touching something, because if it touches, um, you know, it has to touch the real one. If it's a clone, it's not going to do that. So, we're going to go to flaming comet 1. After we click that, we want it to follow. Um, and we're going to put it because if because it's following our cursor, we don't want it. If it comes to the cursor, you'll see like really weird movement. So we're gonna put it if block. If distance to mouse pointer, and we're gonna pick N O T not false. This means it's not gonna happen. 
if this is not happening, then so if distance to so we want distance to let's see mouse pointer. We don't want it to go too far, so we're gonna put a greater than greater than ten. So I will fix this real quick. There we go. Now it's gonna work properly, but we just set it up so everything works fine and we're not going to mess up really badly. And it stops in time. So now we need to create a real movement. So we're going to put the MOE move block. So we have move. So I'm going to put move. And I'll pick three. Pick three. Don't pick too fast. If you want it random, you can also pick it random, but it picks it too randomly, so I prefer you pick a number. Uh, so it can also go really slow and fast if you pick random. Now, we want it to point towards our mouse, right? So we're going to point towards mouse pointer. And we're going to wait so it doesn't go too fast. And I'll show you what I mean about too fast. So, wait. It'll touch the comet. Okay, I'm going to move it a little real quickly. So you can see it. It moves very fast. So, what we need to do is wait wait a certain amount of time there let's see if it works huh it's slow then it does okay And now what? Then we're going to have the explosion. So this, but before the explosion, see it's not moving. Let's see. So, it will we'll try a else block. I'm not sure. You can put this block right there, without the knot, and put else. And it's still not moving. So let's see what's the problem here. It's distance to mouse pointer. Greater than 10. It's always greater than 10. So, let's switch it. Let's switch it the opposite way. Now put it in the not one. And then take this out. Put an if lock. And then let's do it. So now this shall work. There. And if it touches the normal comment too, it will stop. But the normal comment, I don't think it will be here. We wanted to create comments. So I tried to crash into it. But before we start a comment, if it touches it, just stop. It should explode. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a repeat block. And we're going to repeat this motion five times. And we're going to go to end next custom five times. Then we're going to hide this actor. 
now, if we had, if we change the clones and hide it, we need to show it. I'm going to put show here, and we need to change the clone. Change. So, I'm going to set the clone. Um, so, here it is. Costume. Who is it? Okay, I'm just gonna go look for it on um, looks. Which costume to good guy spaceship? But the thing is, we don't want it to just stay there. It'll just move, and if it collides with the comet, it'll go not nowhere. Now we have to program the comet. So let's start with um. Let's start. You know what? Let's just add a background because we do not have a background. I recommend you from picking from a background from um space or this grid. Um, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick this background real quick. And now I have a background, so let's go back to this. So in this, we're gonna have two chunks of code. We need one on start, and we need clone setup. This we're gonna create clones that need to hit our spaceship. So, let's begin with, um, let's begin with, on um, start. We're going to create a variable called random. So, s, we're going to create a script variable. I'm going to name it random. Actually, I'm going to name it ran. So, now I have a variable set. Now I need to pick something random. So, we're going to go to variables and we're going to set ran to pick random. P I C K. Pick random 1 to 4. So, now. We're going to put it if block. If block. But we're going to put if else actually. So then press the plus arrow and you'll get these. Now what you can do with these is set them. So I can set ran to this and I'll get. So it will work. So let's get big. Writing. So we want it to be equal. And we're going to have an equal button here, here, here. We're also going to have, um, we're also going to put random on one side. So I put random variable here, here, here. And uh, we're going to type one, two, and three. We don't need four because else means four because we don't have no other number we can get. Now we wanted to create on the sides like here. If you notice, I'm gonna zoom in so you see the up, left, right, and down. We need these areas to create the comet. So, we can complete, we can think about this as rounding, rounding to the nearest hundred, and we'll get 700. So, if we pick one, we're going to say, um, we're going to have a go-to button on all these. 
and don't play go to um not point or something like that. Go to X and Y if you want. So if you look at the grid, we want seven minus negative seven hundred for X. So I'm gonna put negative seven hundred. But we have four hundred and negative four hundred. So we're gonna pick a random one. Pick random negative four hundred to positive four hundred. Now we have the crazy number. Now we can really copy this program if you wanted. And then we wanted the opposite side. So I'm gonna remove the negative. And we have the same of this. But as you guessed, the next one, for the next one is going to be Y. Y is going to have a fixed number, and X is going to have a random number. So for X, the random number for X. So... We also need a forever one really quick. Let me for a forever loop because this has to happen forever. You don't want it to happen for one minute, the one second, and end up. Uh, stop. Now we're gonna have minus six, minus seven hundred. To positive 700 and we'll have a fixed y which is 400 400 and then we can copy this and paste put it here and put a negative number right there so let's test it out And I'll show you. There, it's traveling everywhere to in the edges. But you can notice it's only pointing one direction. See? So we don't want only pointing one direction. We want it to point every direction. So we're gonna pick um something like you can pick point, point, and this item. We don't want it to go down this way, that way, this way. Only six directions, four directions. We want it to go many directions. So we're gonna put a randomized thing. So first, I'm gonna point. So. This is gonna be, let's see, this used to be, I'm here and it travels on this side. So I'm on the left. For the left, we're gonna point my negative 90. Uh, we don't want negative 90 only. So we're gonna pick random. We're gonna pick something random. We don't want negative 90, but we might need negative 70 and 79, 10, 11. So we can also pick um, negative, I'm not sure, negative 10, probably. So we have these numbers. Now let's see how it points on this side. So it's pointing the same direction. So we might change it a little. Maybe if you want a fixed direction, it's gonna be too easy. So 
We're going to put negative 80 here. And 90. So we can also think about this as 80 too. 80 and this as 70. So now we have this. But it's going too fast, so I'm just going to add a weight block. If, if it goes too fast and creates thousand clones, the uh, computer will get bugged out eventually. So, let's see. Um, so now what we're going to do is it will start coming from the edge. Now we're going to copy this really quick. Put it there. And maybe remove the negative symbol. Uh, so it's, yeah. Instead of 70, you can put 80 here. And I'll just go with 70. Or if you want to, this is one way you can, um, create, um, randomized directions. But really quick, to create it faster, I'm just going to remove these randomized and just put the real direction. My negative 90. Uh, point direction. This we're going to figure out. Minus 70 is over here to here. And 400 is about. So it's high up. So it is zero. And that means this one is down. 180. Okay. Now, if you're going to play it, this is what will come up. So, we, so these two we might switch. We can look at this and fix these directions however we want but they must be really fast and movement there but it's, so it, it's coming into the screen i'm gonna put a, the size as one really small but you can create it as big as you want as a clone so, first we need to create a clone, first of all. So we need to create a clone ourselves. Uh, wait. I'm not gonna wait a second. So, now this is where we come up with a second chunk of code. Now we're gonna go for clone setup. So what we want the clone to do is move. You need the clone to move um, up, down, left, right. Any direction. If you move that direction and when it touches an edge, it should stop. Plus we need to set its size. We're going to set set we're going to set the size to, I don't know, we might set it to 25 to or 50 or something. I would recommend you to pick in 10, 10 to uh, 50, I'm pretty sure. It might work better the lower numbers than higher numbers. I'm going to pick 10 to 50. You can put it at any number else you want. Now, you're here. 
we wanted to move. We created a clone that we wanted to move, right? So we're going to play with repeat block. Why? Because if we don't want it to go touch the edge and disappear. Because we're going to put it, if touching the edge, disappear. So, so, we might want to repeat 100 times. I don't know. I'll pick 50 for now. We're going to pick we're going to move a certain amount of pixels. And that pixel number is going to be 3. And then we're going to wait. The same speed as a spaceship. Now we're going to repeat it. Repeat until... Touching edge. We can literally copy this. Now we have the rate unit. Now we're going to place this code here. We want touching. So we're going to pick repeat until touching edge. So let's see how it goes. Spaceships are coming, but you can see them stopping at a certain time. And we don't want that. So we're going to create, we're going to put delete this clone. Right here. Uh, I'm gonna show. Sometimes hiding will don't work really well, so we don't have to hide it, but we can move it. Move to zero zero, and then we can also move to. Maybe a very far away 500 area X with uh, maybe Y500. I don't know. So, this is what's gonna happen. Clones are gonna do get deleted eventually when they touch the edge. Now our spaceship has to dodge these. So, where is our spaceship? Zero. Come here, our spaceship. There. There our spaceship is. Let's play it. There you go. Oh. Um, let's see. We can remove the show. It's still disappearing. Uh, so let's see. This happens sometimes. I do play this actor, and then I delete this old actor. And now let's see how this works. There, it's working. Now, we also want to score. And, like we it's boring when you see comments that have no trail and they're not moving. And there, it disappeared. Um, let's see. Oh, dear. We need to wait. This is going so duper fast, we don't want one second, but point one second. Now it should explode. But if you want sound, you can add sounds. 
and set your volume. But I'm going to remove it for right now. Now we have everything we need. But we don't have one thing. Our score. We need to count the seconds our spaceship was able to survive. So we're going to add an actor called uh, go to media go to text actor and then let's type S D O R E score and we're going to type OK. We're going to type S D O S D O R E score. Set label to score. Then we're going to press the. Then we're going to press space, press button, and then another space. And we're going to set a variable here. We want. We can create a global variable called score. Score reset variable on stop and zero. And we're created. I'm going to put score right there. We're going to go back here. And you see, it looks like go to SMI and this will start. And this is when we'll count the score. So we're going to change score. Um, change score by... 0 0.01 Why? Because there's a 0 0.1 So this is how much it's going to wait And this is how fast it's going to happen But If you This might mess it up when it's coming Too close and it stops uh, So now what we're going to do Is we're going to put a R-E-P-E-Q Repeat until touching clone a uh, flaming comet, right? So there it is. I'm going to put it there and I want to put it on start. Then we're going to do nothing. Then we're going to say, okay. Oh First of all, in the score, we have the score. Now, after this happens, we need to send a message saying, oh, oh no, the player hit an asteroid. So we're gonna broadcast, um, we're gonna broadcast something, and we're gonna broadcast loose. Now, when the stage hears about it, and which is when I receive, when I want to lose, um, I want to tell the score, and then I want to do this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say something. I want to say something. So, um, we will do, don't do the time one actually. So what I'm going to say, you, you got and Comet. Now I'm going to press and tab. Okay, why am I typing on it? And tab a score of a press space and wait. And we're going to put a variable here. Right there. Now we can put 
central message box. We can set the font to 72. And we say bold. Since everything is, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a black background, a black border, and color of text is gonna be very white. You can uh, change some of these, the style of these. You can also name your actors after. I'm gonna not. One thing you can do with the comment is you have customs. So you can also do the same as. Because if a comment is going boop, 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 it's gonna look like the comment is literally not really moving. And what we're going to do is, we're going to put it in on start forever. We don't want it on, um, if, we don't want it, want it on start actually, we want it on clone setup. Forever. Next costume. Where is next costume? There. And then, wait, wait is a certain amount of time, and which is going to be 1, point 1, 0 point 0.1. Now let's see how it works. We can name it, I'm going to name it, um, comment dodge. So it's saving, now let's try playing it. We can change the area of that. You can see I'm moving around. And the score is not changing. So, let's go back here. Um, there. Forever. We need to put it in a forever loop. And we don't want it right in the middle, do we? So I'm going to take a Y and put in like maybe 300. There. Uh, so then I'm going to save it again. And there. We have a wonderful game. And the score is increasing very, very quickly. But we don't want that. So we can change that really easily. You can put score however you want. Okay, I'm going to wait one second. Or count how many seconds it's the ride. Um, here. Look at that tiny asteroid. I mean, comet. This actually looks like asteroids more than comets, anyway. So I'm dodging these. You see how many comets that are spawning in. So eventually, if they hit me, I lose. Oh, so I have to. That's why I have to dodge them. And I can't go off the edge. Ooh. I exploded. After I exploded, I'm going to broadcast loose. And there, it's going to work. It should work, actually. I'm going to collide with a comment right now. There. Um, thank you for watching LEGO Tech and Crafts. Please subscribe and like this video too.